Hello, Cardiff. We are here with celebrity stylist, presenter, chef, author, DJ, fairy godmother, Mr. Kok Welcome to Cardiff. You know what? Cardiff. I fancy myself for that <laughs> intro, I have to say. What a man. <laughs> well, um, obviously, <laughs> um, obviously, back in Cardiff again. Um, you were here last with Pride. Why don't you tell everyone why, you, why we're here again? OK, well, I'm coming here for the whole of Christmas, for a whole eight weeks and three days, um, to be in your panto as the fairy godmother in Cinderella at the New Theatre, uh, which is very exciting. I'm very, very excited, actually, because I love Cardiff already. I've been here many times over the years, and I love this pantomime. So it's combining the two most magical moments that you can have at Christmas, other than my family, obviously, but don't tell them. And obviously you've played uh, this role before, um, but this is the first time uh, you've played it without uh, Brian O'Connolly. Is his name Brian O'Connolly? Brian Connolly. Brian Connolly, sorry. It's all right, I'm going to tell him you said that. Yeah, Bradley Walsh. Yeah. Bradley Walsh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, first time meeting uh, your Panzo family here. I know. What, what are your first thoughts? Well, uh, I love all of them already. I've known Kerry actually a long time. I met her a long, long, long time ago, although slightly upsetting because she didn't recognise me today. Um, and I haven't met any of the other ones. And it's always a really exciting moment. You have, you know, you meet them just before you start launching the panto and you kind of get a handle. And already I can tell that we're going to have loads of fun. Uh, it's gonna, probably going to be quite raucous backstage, but also on the stage. Uh, and it's lovely, actually. And it's, it gets kind of, you get this intensive family feeling and you want to make the most because of course it all goes away in the second week of January so I think it's going to be lots of fun. Do you look forward to this time with you? I do, I love Christmas and I love pantomime and I love being on stage, I love showing off, I love humour, I love you know being a fool on stage so yeah I mean it appeals to every single part of my personality um, and there's something very very magical about looking out to an audience and just seeing all the kids faces smiling and the parents are laughing and it's it's very joyous you get to have christmas day every single day twice a day for a whole six weeks and it, it's lovely it's a great position to be in it must be hard work though like you said twice a day so it is hard work but you kind of forget about that it, it's exhausting physically exhausting because of course you're on stage all the time and running around and stuff but it's so exciting your adrenaline goes through the roof and and it's lovely and so by the end of the run you definitely need a holiday but actually when you're in it the the, the cycle feels great um and it also I'm, I'm i love hard work as well i like being tired from hard work and i've always been like that so it appeals to that part of my personality as well i get a real kick out of it yeah no no you've played this role before is it the same character you've done before or are you putting a new twist on it what can people expect from i mean it's the same character without question you know delivering the magic for cinderella you know fancying the prince fancying buttons you know it's every single time it's the same but um you know, when your cast changes, your performance changes, and it depends entirely who you're with. Um, and I think this one feels very camp already, <laughs> I have to say. Um, you can tell from the poster. Yeah. Um, and so I think it's going to be lots and lots of fun. You know, when I work with Brian, we've worked together so many years now that we have this kind of friendship on stage and we've got this, you know, real kind of... I, I almost behave like his uncle and he's the, the nephew, like the cheeky nephew type thing. Um, but I don't think this panto will have that. I think this panto is going to have slightly more magic in Involved just because it's a brand new cast and I'm so I'm looking forward to that. Mel, you mentioned magic, you know, Cinderella is probably the most magical uh, panto there is. Mm. Um, lots of glitz and glamour. Do you get to fashion fix your own costumes? I don't. Do you know what? When I first did panto seven years ago, um, I'm still wearing the jacket from that panto um, because I loved it so much, the designers. And, and they, the guys at QDOS asked me if I wanted to design my own. And I said no, because it's not my job. You know, I do fashion and I do makeovers and I work with other people's designs as a stylist, but um, I'm not a costume designer. And I'm so glad I made that decision because the costume is beautiful it's so incredible there's that but my brain doesn't work that way there's no way that I would have come up with the ingenuity and the, and, and the glamour that comes from from the outfit and so I yeah I love it actually I didn't want any control over it so when you say you still wear it obviously off off stage or all the time yeah, Go, yeah going to the local shop you know parking the car you know taking the dog for a walk you can often see me dressed as the big silver <laughs> fairy brilliant and obviously you're known for being you know a super nice guy uh, you've always played nice people have you ever thought about being a villain 
and you know I couldn't be a villain. I, I genuinely have the most awful anxiety. If I think that somebody doesn't like me, then I, it, it sends me into fits of depression. I get really upset about it. I get really worried about it. And so if I was on stage and I thought the audience didn't like me, I wouldn't be able to go back on stage. I'd hate it. Absolutely hate it. I love being... Twice a day again, boo. You know, and they're <laughs> awful. And actually, you know, I can't get my head around it. And when I've seen friends of mine play villains uh, in Panto, and they come onto the stage at the very end to get their round of applause and the audience don't give them a round of applause, it literally breaks my heart. I don't have the self-confidence for that. I want the world to love and adore me. Uh, and so, the, you know, the role of the fairy godmother absolutely suits me 100%. I'd never want to be a villain. See, it's making me anxious already thinking about it. <laughs> uh, is that your slipper, by the way? It's, it's not my slipper. It's an absolute <laughs> enormous slipper, it's huge, isn't it? isn't it? Yeah, I How think... tall is Cinderella? Cinderella is enormous. <laughs> so Cinderella is being played by Hagrid. And so we're doing a crossover of shows at the moment. No, it's, it's the largest slipper in the world, isn't it? Big, yeah. I think it might be one of Kerry's. <laughs> I think we might... It's, I've just smelt it. It's definitely one of Kerry's. Right. Uh, and finally, you know... Christmas, everyone's already started looking for it. I saw that they're putting the Christmas decorations up in town amazing, already. Isn't it? Um, just get us, give us, give us a, a little bit of an oomph. Why should we come and see Cinderella this year? Okay, so Cinderella is not only the most magical of every single pantomimes, it's the ultimate story of joy and hope and love. Um, that coupled with the campery of a theatre set and amazing lights and special effects and costumes, etc. There's no other way to start your Christmas season or to enjoy your Christmas season. And you know what? Life has been really tough in 2019 for lots of people all around the country. So total escapism for one afternoon or one evening is exactly what everyone needs to have, where you bring your friends and your family into the same space and you share a few hours with them where you can forget about everything else that's going on. And so this is the reason why you should come to Panto. And I can guarantee when you come to see the show, you'll be looking at booking tickets again. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much. Look You're welcome. To it. No worries. Thank you very much.